Hey everyone, it's Chrissy and we are on our last vlog for Busan. Melanie and I take off today. We decided to just have a short little, um, little trip to Busan for part of our spring break and then still being able to hang out in Seoul for the rest of our spring break. It's been really nice seeing the cherry blossoms are starting to open because we're finally coming into spring and so they're just starting to blossom here, which means that by the time we get back to Seoul, they will slowly start to blossom there as well. And it's so gorgeous. There's some streets that are just like completely lined with cherry blossoms. So I'm really excited to be able to check that out. But it is our last day in Busan. Melanie is currently out trying to see the sunrise. I have a um, Zoom call that I told um, a past colleague that I would talk with some of her students about what it's like um, being a teacher in a foreign country and kind of what that whole process was like. So I have that here in a little bit. And then after that, you'll just see us kind of wrapping up our day here. I think we'll have breakfast at our hotel. Um, we'll probably head near to where the train station is and grab some lunch. And then we'll head on back to Seoul and be able to enjoy a few days of our spring break there before we head back into the fourth quarter. Um, but you'll be able to come along, see what we're doing, and see as we have to say goodbye to Busan, goodbye to, let's see if you can see it. Goodbye to the amazing views. I'm going to miss seeing the water every morning when I wake up. Although it does get me up like super early because with our huge windows, um, when I wake up, I'm like, oh, it must be really late. And it's like five something in the morning because the light just comes in. But I will miss it. I'll definitely have to come back in the summer and check it out as well. But let's go see what we're going to do for the rest of the day. Officially back in Seoul. Melanie had, I think she's got a few extra bus stops than I do. Uh, so I got let off and she'll be heading on her way as well too, but I'm just walking the last little bit of the way home. It's looking kind of gray, like it wants to rain. But I have just enough time to get home, kind of unpack things. And then I have to head to the trainer. He was able to get me in at a later time than my normal. So I only missed Monday instead of missing Wednesday as well. I'm sure I'll probably be sore afterwards, but we'll head on home and then head there. You don't know me and I don't know you, but it breaks my heart. You looking so blue on the Last thought, I dare you. I just 
just picked your name on the coffee cup. What is the talk of luck? The guy just I'm messed up. On my way to go meet game. Melanie. Um, currently done much today. Just kind of hung around, unpacked. I should do laundry, but I haven't yet. Uh, but I'm meeting Millie. Got my mask, so we're good to go, and we're going to get Korean. I think tonight there's a place that she's tried that I haven't yet, so I'm excited. And the weather is finally starting to get warmer, so we're just gonna walk around um, after we eat. So let's go. Don't get hit by a car. Why would I not get hit by a car? Look at you. Look at you. Look at you. Look at you. Welcome to story time. You, you, you start. Okay, so Melanie had a lovely encounter today. Um, and I got a text message that just said, You need to call me in 20 minutes. <laughs> I said, Okay. And she says, Yes, you need to call me. So I made sure to call her. And during that time, I figured I was like, Okay, someone, something's going on with the person. So then I said, like, Oh, you need to come help me pick up my shelf. Yeah. This is what happened. Okay. So today was a beautiful day in Korea. Like, gorgeous weather. Great weather. The sun was out, but it wasn't too sunny like some clouds, so I'm like, you know what, this is picnic weather for me. So I packed my picnic blanket, I packed my Bible, my journal, I'm like gonna go have some me time at my favorite park, which is a good 45 minutes from here, by the way. I was gonna say, you yeah. said what it was, and I was like, I've never been there, I don't know where some at. takes a while to get to. Anyways, so I get there, and I find the perfect spot, and I unfold my picnic blanket, and I'm on it for about five minutes when a guy approaches me. We should probably mention that he was about 70. If I had to guess, he was 70. Good man. <laughs> and he walked up to me and just starts speaking in Korean, which I'm terrible at. I get the gist of his message and essentially it's, where are your friends? Like, why are you by yourself? And I'm like, um, hi, <laughs> it's a beautiful day. Nice to meet you. I'm a very polite person. Also independence, it's a thing. We know how to do it. Yes. <laughs> but like no one ever goes by themselves. It's just kind of unheard of. So I was- Korea is a couple's kingdom. Couple's kingdom. <laughs> I was definitely the only solo person at the park under 70. So I guess that was weird. <laughs> And he asked me where I was from. I understood that. I was so proud of myself. Oh, good for you. And I'm like, okay, well, this is fine. And then he says something about food and runs away. And I'm like, well, maybe he's just gonna go eat. No, he comes back with a bag of donuts. <laughs> and he sits on my mat and he tries to hand me a donut. And I'm like, oh, no, thank you. And he is a very persistent man. And I, who am a polite person. She's way more polite than I am. <laughs> proceeds to take the donut. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, yeah, don't make something that must yeah, all that good stuff. So I eat the donut and he's sitting there and I'm sitting there and I'm in my head thinking, what is happening? Like, how do I get out of this? <laughs> and there is no getting out of it at this point because he's sitting on my mat and he takes off his shoes. <laughs> so I'm like, well, there's a stranger on my picnic mat without his shoes on. <laughs> And he proceeds to go through my stuff. Like, what is this? It's a journal. Here's your pens. He starts writing in my journal. <laughs> and then he starts. Personal space. What, 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 what is, is it? that? What is it? <laughs> and then he starts trying to talk to me in Korean. I don't know any Korean, so I have no idea what he's saying. He finds the stickers in my Bible. <laughs> he takes a star sticker and sticks it to my forehead. <laughs> And I giggle because I'm like, this is ridiculous. It gets so awkward where you're just like, um, I'm just laughing at this. Yeah. This is my life. <laughs> he thinks it's great that I laugh, so he proceeds to put more stickers on me. <laughs> okay. Well, this is life right now. So we're sitting there, chill for, I don't know, probably a good 10 or 15 minutes. And I don't know <laughs> how to tell him that I want my own space and still be polite. So... He starts asking if I want mekju, which in Korean mekju is beer. And I'm like, no, 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 I don't want any beer. Like 10 minutes later, he gets up and he goes and he buys Car. beer. <laughs> oh, yeah. I could see the headlights. Yep. Thank you for protecting me. 
No hitting the people. Wish you were at the park today. <laughs> um, he goes and he buys some beer and some chips, which are like the Korean version of bugles. And he sits down and hands me a beer. And I'm just like, what do I do? <laughs> what do I do? I mean, same thing with the donuts. He's very really persistent about food <laughs> and feeding me. <laughs> And so I do with bugles what you should do with bugles. And in the ridiculousness, I put one on my finger. As like, it should be. Oh, bugle. He thinks this is hilarious. And then proceeds to cover my hand in bugles. <laughs> Grabs my hand and just, I'm like, okay, that just happened. <laughs> so I'm sitting there again. And then finally, you call me. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, I didn't even get to the best part. Oh, what is Before you called me, he took off my sock. He took off my sock to inspect my toes, my feet, mine. And he looks at them and he says, they're nice toes. And then puts my sock back on for me. What? I'm just wondering if this is like a whole lead up to just like, I just want to see your feet. I think it might have been. I don't know. And then finally you call me. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to go help my friend. Thank you, Jesus, for Chrissy. And so I'm packing up. With my heavy shelves. He would not exist. let me fold my own blanket. Oh, he insisted on doing it for me. He writes his phone number in my journal. And then I flee. Before I could give him mine because he wanted it. <laughs> and then I call her to explain the entire situation that nobody in their right mind would think was real. And that is the pith of my story. <laughs> Welcome to Korea. I mean, it's one of those where, yeah, loud. If you're gonna deal with someone, right? I mean, at least they're nice. <laughs> However, you took off my sock? Yeah, like, what? That's mine! It's my foot! Yeah. You can't have it? There's bugles on the fingers? Sticker Are on the forehead? Are we married now? Like, what does this mean? Yeah. Okay. So, if anyone knows, if you live in Korea, <laughs> please explain. I like, hope. super polite, but like, curious. I don't know. You can't explain. <laughs> there is no explanation. <laughs> I called a friend, Jenny. Oh yeah? Who's lived here for like three years. And I told her the story. She said Jenny she'd never heard anything like it. <laughs> and that I win for having the weirdest encounter so far. So <laughs> I'm like, well, <laughs> congratulations, I guess. <laughs> Not even a year, no. best story award. Oh gosh. I'm gonna like start telling this around campfires. <laughs> <laughs> Gather around, children. <laughs> it's gonna become the same story at Christmas that everyone wants to hear. Tell us about that time in the park. Let okay. me tell you about the flight. Man, took my sock. <laughs> took my sock. And like, not just took my sock, like spread my toes. Oh! When I say he inspected my toes, he got his hands in my toes. Oh. And I'm like, no. And then he kept trying to touch my feet, and I was like, no, no, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I take issue with the spreading of the toes. Uh, well, you know, I did always wonder if I could pull Korean men. Turns out I can as long as they're 70 and like feet. <laughs> you have bugles, I have feet. We're good to go! It's all for you. It's all for you. I did it all for you. It's all for you.